Hello everyone and welcome to the Esoteric Software Stream. We'll also start by looking at the new updates that were introduced this week in the beta version of Spine. Depending on when you're watching this recording, this might may be the stable version, but like these are very fresh at the moment. And uh, those new additions are the PSD import directly inside Spine, as well as the fact that now we have more folders on slots and constraints. Uh, because this is a beta version, expect it to be full of bugs at the moment, but it's gonna improve as soon as uh, more people uh, test it out and we figure out all the corner cases until it's polished for the stable release, which is now in the works. The two main things are this folder for draw order and constraints and the PSD processing support, which is super cool because it means that you don't have to use the Photoshop to Spine script anymore from Photoshop to import your PSDs inside Spine. You can use any software you want and get your images inside Spine. So previously, for example, I was using Procreate and I needed to pass through Photoshop to be able to export and get these images inside Spine. No, not anymore. So how does this work? Now we can just click on the Spine logo here in the upper corner and then go import data. And that is true if you are on the Mac because on Windows, you can just drag and drop as usual your files, which I prefer and love to do. Okay, I'm gonna drag and drop that PSD. And okay, that's good, that's good. So here I have my PSD. And as you see now, before it used to say file, JSON and binary. Now it says also or PSD. And you have basically most of the settings uh, that you would find uh, in the Photoshop to Spine script export. Uh, now we don't export a template anymore because it's not necessary and a JSON file anymore because it's automatically imported in Spine for you, so you don't need the JSON. But we can still choose to trim the white space or not, to ignore the hidden layers in case you're hiding stuff that you already exported or things like that. Then there's uh, the padding that we can add, uh, we can scale the PSD and we can choose where the images are being written. And I'm gonna create an images folder myself in this case. So I've chosen my images folder. Mm, I'm on a new project. I just click import so I can just drag, drop and import. There we go. It says, oh, your project hasn't saved changes. This was a new project, so it's fine. Let's discard. And as you see in like, what seconds it is like so fast compared to the Photoshop script. And the best part is that all of the tags that are in the original Photoshop to Spine script are supported. So you can still use them. And uh, did you notice that these uh, uh, the character is centered, it's because if you have guides inside your file, then it will be automatically centered. If you don't have guides, then the project should be centered anyway in the middle of it instead of one upper corner. Let's see also some more settings. Okay, I'm gonna drag and drop this new PSD that I'm fetching from past Twitch streams. And uh, okay, now this time I want to import these new images inside the current uh, project. So I'm gonna uncheck new project and then it asks, do you want a separate skeleton or do you want to import into the existing skeleton? In this case, I can import into the existing skeleton and then I can choose if I want to replace the existing attachments or uh, ignore them. So I'm gonna import. Oh yeah, I know it will override the mouth. Oh, because I named the, the oh, let's see what happens. I am curious. Let's override them. Ah, beautiful. Okay. Yes, it is the same pieces that I actually have in Photoshop. Plays the same way. I'm very satisfied. So as you see, my Photoshop file was exactly like this. Now we can import all of these PSDs directly inside Spine. Uh, the things that are not supported are layer adjustments. All those uh, layer styles that were just, they were basically only in Photoshop. So if you want to still have them, you can use the Photoshop to Spine script. Uh, however, for every other normal usage, other programs, uh, other software that does not have uh, uh, those extra features, uh, those uh, will uh, basically import flawlessly anyway, because when you export a PSD to be compatible, uh, it does not have those adjustment layers anyway. So yeah, basically it works uh, just like the script. Uh, then I'm going to drag and drop that Celestial Circus project that I was working on. Okay, it knows where it needs to go. 
Okay, the new project, that's what I want, and I import. Oh, look at that! Look how many layers there are and how it goes fast. Um, my, uh, when I export it with Photoshop, it takes a lot. And it already finished! And it looks exactly like the Photoshop one. Now, let's say that we want to group parts of our slot, so you know, how you can uh, end up having tons, very very long uh, lists in the draw order of slots, as well as the constraints. So let's say that I want to group the face in one piece because it's not like the eye is go is ever gonna be in front of the hands or stuff like that. Okay, I can choose a new folder. I'll call it face, and now I can move all the parts of the face together in the draw order. And now the draw order is gonna be shorter, which is very, very sweet. Okay, here I have all the hair strands for the hair in the back. New folder. And we have that too. Super. And we can move it in the draw order in one go like this. You can also just upgrade to the beta version to export your PSD and then downgrade. You could do that. Uh, if you then export a compatible JSON, for example, then you just import in an older version. And so you can make use of that without needing to have Photoshop anyway. As long as you have Spine, it's gonna work. Okay, so let's say here that I have too many constraints. Now I color coded them so I don't find them too annoying. But maybe you want to group here the wings. Okay, new folder. I'll call these wings because it's the constraint for the wings. And voila, now they are grouped. So for example, if you have uh, many uh, characters that um, lay inside the same project in different skins, and maybe you had those constraint modifiers, now you can move them around, you can group them, so they are not all over the place. Super exciting stuff. But thank you, thank you for joining the stream. I will see you all next Tuesday. See you next time.